Go to the next one. It was literally 300 pounds. I need to move here. Let me know in the comments what else I found. Anyway, we're on our way to the British Museum to see some stolen artifacts. Mm. <laughs> My jaw dropped. Hi Stan Stans, my name is Stan. Welcome to the world of extra. Today is actually my editing day. I'm still in London town vibes. Today I'm just chilling and doing nothing really. So I ordered myself two cheesecakes. I couldn't decide between cookies and cream versus tiramisu cheesecake. So I got both. <laughs> yummy, yummy. This is a tiramisu one. Let's try it. I was just craving cheesecake all day and I was like, you know what? I have to just order one. <laughs> mm. I was expecting it to be more wet like a tiramisu though. Bitch, this one looks so pretty and yummy. Mm. Wait a minute, it literally came with cream and ice cream. That's why it's a little bit dry because you have to wet it yourself. Oh my god, my mouth just drooled. My lactose and talented ass cannot handle this. Good luck, future stands, asshole. Oh. But yes, you guys, today I'm just gonna be editing, so I'm just gonna be chilling. So let's move on to when I do some actual stuff. Let's hang out. Good morning, Stan Stan. I'm just having a quick little coffee because I'm going to Brighton today. That is one hour outside London, and I'm so excited. It's a day trip day. I'm in Victoria Station right now, and apparently I need to get like a separate ticket. I can't just use my commuter pass to get in the train to go to Brighton. So I need to find a way to get that ticket. Oh my god, Victoria Station is massive. Okay, it says tickets. I think this is it. Just kidding. Brighton. I got my ticket. It was literally 40 pounds. That's so much money. Why is London so expensive? And it's not like it's a cute train. <laughs> Just kidding. My favorite thing about Japan is everyone cares, but my favorite thing about like all the countries I've been to so far, no one gives a fuck. I made it on the train. It's actually really nice. Look at that leg space. I love taking the trains to like the outside of the city because you get to see the outside of London, the outside of all the tourist destinations. I think it's just so much fun to just sightsee like this. I made it to Brighton. Hey, stand, stand. <laughs> Do you guys remember Rana? Rana was in a few of my videos yeah. like two years ago. It's probably one of those like drunk videos too. Yeah, probably every single every time. Every single time. It's probably just a random clip of us doing something <laughs> really stupid as well. But I made it to Brighton. My first impression right away, it's so different from London. And it's just so much more like hip and like so much more calm. Edgy. Yeah. Like, hippie. I love it. Mm -hmm. Even like the buildings are like so much more colorful. <laughs> All the vintage shops in Brighton have like really cool like decor. You guys, I hate holding myself back with shopping. I feel like I should just do it and buy a new suitcase while I'm here. Like everything is so cute. It's only been like 10 minutes since I got to Brighton and I already want like five different things. But I have to remind myself that like Tokyo also has a lot of vintage shops so I don't have to necessarily buy anything from here. Like these can just be like in post and then I can buy it in Tokyo. Like a leather jacket like this. Don't I have a leather jacket? Apparently this is a matcha store and I see some pride flags in there. The representation, matcha and gayness, that's so me. Gay couples in public? That's <laughs> so not Japan. Brighton is the gay capital of England. I need to move here. <laughs> Everyone's so fucking sick here. Everyone is so cool. It's only been like five minutes and I feel like I would actually move here. <laughs> we came to a restaurant called Red Roasters. I'm so hungry. We were blackout drunk last night. Okay, maybe not blackout. <laughs> we were honestly just so tired from all the cocktails we were trying. I got myself a little boba. Apparently they make it with coconut milk, so I'm so excited. It honestly smells like a candle. <laughs> Rana just got a nice little cappuccino. Let's try it. That's yummy. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, the food came. I got truffle mushroom linguine. We both got the same thing. I got myself a side of bacon. I just needed some meat this morning. To wash it down. And we got tater tots. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Salad first. I'm waiting for my salad shot. Out of all the places I've been to, Brighton has the best vibes. Yeah. Including LA, New York, London. Brighton has the best vibes. Just like gay flags everywhere. <laughs> and just like everything. All the shops are so cute. <laughs> so good, right? Mm. Every time I visit a new place, it's always just sunny. And it bamboozles me into thinking I could live here. You guys, I take it back. Remember when I was like, it's always so sunny. Yeah, it just started raining. It's not even in the forecast. It said it's gonna be sunny all day. Welcome to England. <laughs> they gave us free coffee, by the way. I caught that on camera. <laughs> I guess they didn't lie when they said it's sunny. I mean, it is really sunny, but it's literally pouring. Oh my 
god! I didn't know there was a really pretty beach here! Damn! I swear, the south of any country is always prettier than the rest. Let's go to the crosswalk over there, babe. Look, you guys, that's literally a whole beach! What's the closest country if I go that way? Morocco? I don't think she knows what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> this man's grinder picture is just like on the little thing. You know what I'm saying, you guys? Like, there's no real actual one weather here. It's just like a combination of all seven types of weather in one day. Now it's like a hot summery day. <laughs> it's like 30 degrees. Right? right? Oh my god, it's perfect. Honestly, this place reminds me of Santa Monica, especially with the amusement park on the pier. That is literally Santa Monica. I came to Brighton and got crabs. We're getting oysters. Oyster mukbang. Are you ready? I'm gonna be mute this whole time. Oh. Oh! oh. Caught it. My mouth is watering. Ooh, my grinder is going off. I feel it in my pocket. <laughs> my heart's actually beating really, really? fast. Really? I'm so dramatic. Let me know in the comments if you guys like oysters. Bon appetit. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was like a 8 out of 10. Ooh! <laughs> what would you rate it? <laughs> I love that you're having coffee with oyster. Coffee. Okay, moving on. Oh my god, the seagulls here look so mean and evil. <laughs> Hello, I'm gay. Rana was telling me how that is a really ugly observatory. I mean, it's just a pole with a donut. <laughs> and apparently this fills up with a bunch of people in the summer. I want to come here in the summer. It's kind of dead today. I mean, it is like a random Thursday and it's gloomy. What the hell? There's an upside down house here. I want to go in. We are entering the upside down house. Wait, I'm gonna flip the video just so everyone gets fucked up. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, I'm walking on the ceiling. Ooh. Are you guys being fucked up right now? How do you guys feel? Ooh. House tour. The house is actually kind of tiny. This is the second floor. Whoa, this is weird. This is so weird. <laughs> I'm done, I'm so nauseous. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I just need to sit down. That made me so nauseous. But the guy was like, oh, everyone gets nauseous, don't worry. People were just like taking pictures of this alley, apparently. <laughs> it says filming location for the iconic British film. If you guys ever come here, look for what I'm gonna write. Is this vandalism? Am I literally filming myself doing something illegal? Anyway, it says a lot of things. So I'm just gonna. Penis. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna write Stan. I'm right handed. <laughs> Stan. A gun store? Is this the US side? Just kidding. Oh my god. That's so good. Oh. Good morning, Stan Stans. It's the next day. I think it's really important to have break times during your travel as well, especially if you're traveling all around the world for weeks. So I want to just stay in today and just relax because I am going out tonight. But also, it is like the only sunny day since I got here and the weather is literally perfect. So I had to put on a really cute outfit. This is my outfit. I got this t-shirt the other day, if you guys remember. But yeah, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything. It's currently 11 a.m. I was looking at restaurants nearby, and I found this restaurant that has a 4.9 star review with over 500 reviews. That is crazy. How good is it? And it's literally like a three-minute walk from here, so I think we should go there and get some brunch. Apparently here in London, there's a big problem of like people just snatching your phones. People would just be on their bikes, and they would just literally take your phones and your headphones. So that's something I have to be careful about. My friend actually was a victim of that. So I just need to be very careful. So I'm always like looking behind me if there's a bike and I'm like always trying to go far away from the streets and the road. Shut up. Oh, I think I found the place. It's in this random ass bridge. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Let's go for breakfast. <laughs> The 
That was genuinely such a good breakfast. I feel like I'm gonna have to go back. It's so yummy and it's so affordable as well. 12 pounds and it also came with an espresso shot. I'm so full and I just feel so good. I think English breakfast is such a simple combination of foods, but it's so yummy. It's literally everything you want for breakfast in one plate. I feel like I'm gonna have to start making that at home because it's so easy and it's so filling. Also, every time someone would order the Monty breakfast, the one I ordered, the man would be like, breakfast of champions in it. <laughs> oh, where am I going? I almost died. But yeah, you guys should totally get breakfast there if you're in London. It's called Divine, and apparently they're a family-owned business. So I support it. Support your local businesses. But yeah, I just came back to take my vitamins and to grab a jacket because it's 15 degrees Celsius today, even though it's really sunny. So it's getting a little bit chilly. I want to go shopping and just sightsee a little bit more. My friend who used to live in Japan is coming to see me for literally just two days. We're going to go out tonight, so I'm really excited. Oh. Gum. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying hanging out with me? I love that we always get to hang out together during this trip. But I'm also getting really tired. I've been traveling since end of July and now it's end of September. So I'm actually really excited to go back to Japan. But we still have a few more things to do. So let's keep hanging out, you guys. Let's go. Also, I'm leaving in a few days. So I actually already packed my bag. I pack really light. A lot of my friends are like, oh my god, your suitcase is tiny. I actually hate bringing huge suitcases during my travels. But I bring so many outfits. I'm just such a good packer. If you guys want to see like a packing tutorial, let me know in the comments because I might give it to you. Not me in my Maria Kondo era. But this is pretty much all my clothes. Anyway, let's get going with our day. I made it to Oxford Circus or Oxford Street. Oxford Street? What is circus? What is a circus? I went to one of those souvenir stores and I got myself a little magnet. I wish I got a magnet in every country and city I've been to. But this is like the first time I remember that I wanted a magnet from everywhere. But look at this cute little magnet. It has Tower Bridge. It's where I'm staying. The magnet was four pounds. I don't know if that's expensive. But yesterday when I was with my friend, every time we go to the store and we look at something and I read the price and I'm like, I'm gonna buy this. She's like, that is so expensive. So you never really know like how much something is supposed to be. I just have the image that London is just really expensive. So I'm just like, okay, I'll just get it. But then apparently that's like way more expensive than how much it's supposed to be. So I don't know, it's four pounds expensive for a magnet. I have no clue. Because at this point, I just feel like everything is expensive. You guys are probably wondering, oh my god, Stan, why did you go to Oxford Street? It's not like you have any luggage space. You're not going to go shopping, are you? You're not going to go to Urban Outfitters, are you? Of course not. 50% off? <laughs> I might have to walk in. Okay, where are the sale items? And are these pants on sale? It's not on sale. Is it my size though? You guys, I'm horrified. This is so embarrassing. Literally head to toe, I'm literally wearing Urban Outfitters. I got this the other day from Urban. Guess where I got this from? LA Urban Outfitters. These shorts. Urban Outfitters as well. <laughs> I can't shop here anymore. Don't you guys love this zip up in these pants? You guys, I really cannot not buy anything every time I walk in this store. <laughs> I really didn't expect to buy four zip ups during this trip. That's also like the hardest thing to fit in a suitcase, but somehow I'm just doing it. And these pants, come on. These are the pants I was talking about in one of my LA vlogs when I was like, is this wash kind of disgusting because it's yellow and it looks moldy and musty? And a lot of you guys actually kind of liked it. And I do too, actually. This would be so perfect for the fall. Just like this yellowish hue makes it so good to match with browns and fall colors. Okay. I have to buy it. Did someone just kiss the wall? Ew. The damage has been done. That was probably my most expensive shopping trip ever so far this trip. It was literally 300 pounds. The security for Japanese credit cards I think are stricter than any other credit cards. My Apple Pay literally declined twice because it said suspected fraud just because it was so expensive just for clothes. I had to open the app and like authorize the payment so it works. But it was kind of embarrassing. But I promise I have enough money to be doing this. But at the same time, thank you so much because it's because of you guys that I'm able to buy the things I want. So thank you. Now I'm just going to a cafe to just get a little bit of pick-me-up. My friend from Czech Republic is landing in about two hours. So I'm gonna go back to the hotel soon and just relax for a night out. <laughs> you guys are probably wondering, oh my god, Stan, you're literally in London. You should go thrifting. Stop going to Urban Outfitters. And the thing is, like, thrifting is so much better in Tokyo, I feel like. We have Shimokitazawa, Harajuku, and I always thrift in Japan. But we don't have Urban Outfitters in Tokyo. That's why I'm always going to Urban Outfitters everywhere I go. It's probably one of my favorite stores. But yeah, that's the reason. But when I go back to Japan, I'm gonna be thrifting again, which I'm excited for. Also, something random I've noticed, in terms of nosiness, people in London are the nosiest when I'm vlogging. And then New York was kind of nosy as well. That's top two. And then LA did not give a fuck. I would just like walk into a restaurant. I would just be vlogging and no one gave a fuck in LA. I guess that is the land where all the vloggers are. So that's why. I came to this cafe called Kiss the Hippo. It's actually really cute. And it's run by Asians, which I love. They were so beautiful. I feel like I have no business drinking an expensive oat milk latte after spending 300 pounds on clothes. 
it tastes like guilt. Okay, this is the second best coffee I've ever had in my whole life. Number one is still Devotion from New York. I also have no business drinking coffee like this. I'm scared I'm gonna feel like I'm having a heart attack again. Of course, it starts raining. I'm going home. Oh my god, the moment I get back to my hotel, the sun is out. So I'm just sunbathing in my room and calling Nicolette again. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, because it's a Friday and it's sunset, it's time to get fucked up drunk. Let's fucking go. Ah! La, la, yeah, la, yeah. Say hello to Yaku! Hi, Yaku was my friend back in Japan, but he has to move back to his own country. But he flew all the way to London to hang out for the weekend. Yes. Last night, we went clubbing. We went to this party. It's a little gay party. London gay parties are crazy. Everyone is shirtless. Literally every single person. No offense, but like, everyone kind of had the same vibe. Like, the same look. But I think that's the aesthetic they're going for. Like, big body, big tits, buff, good body. But yeah, it was really fun. I honestly didn't know if I was drunk or not, but I was really tired to towards the end of the night. We had so much fun. Now we're just visiting a couple of museums today. Today we're going to Tate Modern Museum of Art of the, the house. <laughs> Let's go. You know, British museums, just like stolen goods from all over the world. I'm really excited. Also, we're crossing a bridge. At this point, I've lost count which bridge I've crossed, but this is one of the bridges, one of the many bridges here. After you've crossed like your third bridge, you're like, okay, you know what? It's just a bridge. <laughs> but now it's really cute. It's really fun. <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. I'm kidding. We made it to the rooftop of the museum. There's actually a lot of nudity in the museum, <laughs> so I couldn't film a lot in there, but there's actually a lot of cool art. We saw the fountain that apparently started modern art or whatever, and it was really interesting, but apparently this guy literally he just took a urinal and signed it and he was just like it's art because art doesn't even have to be by the artist you can just discover it and call it yours anyway subscribe i'm so glad that we came all the way to the rooftop because it's actually so pretty up here there's a cafe we're gonna get a nice little espresso but you get to see the entirety of london i love the juxtaposition between conserving the historical buildings of london and having like all the cool tall buildings as well anyway let's go get coffee i need some coffee performative coffee of the day we came to the museum cafe and it's actually such a vibe here. I got myself a little elderflower lemonade. I have a confession. I actually don't know what elderflower is. Is it a flower? Is it some sort of tea? Is it some, like what is it? Tell me. Let me know in the comments what elderflower what elderflower is. I didn't want to have a heart attack today, so I decided to go for a chai oat milk latte instead of a coffee. Mm. It's time to try the elderflower lemonade. Cheers. I still don't know what it is. It tastes like thyme. Gosta <laughs> I know I've been saying this the entire video, but the vibe of London is just so incomparable to anywhere in the world. Yeah, I said it, shut up. Anyway, we're on our way to the British Museum to see some stolen artifacts. We were just walking towards the museum and I found these cute magnets. I didn't get a magnet while I was in Brighton, so I think this is such a good one. It's cute and blue. And this one's so stupid and silly. I just want it. It says, mind the gap. I want it. The colors would match my apartment as well. This is perfect for my fridge. But it says three for five. I feel like I should get a third one just so I can make my money's worth. The third one I got is just this one that says London. It has every single tourist destination. I forgot what this one is. Do you see this little gray thing? It looks like cocoon building in Shinjuku. <laughs> it was five pounds. That's good, right? That's like a thousand yen. We made it to the museum. She's kind of cute. Wait, it's a vibe. It's actually so cute. I'm so excited to see all the stolen exhibitions. Oh, oh my god, my jaw dropped.
That was so crazy. I feel like I could just stay there for hours. But we don't have all day. My favorite thing I've seen were the sarcophagus, the mummies, and also all the pieces from Greece was really wild. Even seeing the real Venus was wild. But yeah, it's just so weird that they stole all these things. Especially when we saw the mummy of Cleopatra. I was like, this is just in a random ass glass showcase. I was really shook. We're walking around the gay district and like gay district here is literally just like a bunch of gay people and like gay couples holding hands and stuff. Like gay people in Japan, like Nichoma is literally just like a place to get fucked up drunk. Here it's like a community. You kind of like really feel that everyone's just like here for the vibes in the daytime and not necessarily just to get fucked up drunk, you know? Okay, so ho guys. I honestly didn't expect it, but everyone here dressed so well. But not like everywhere in London. I think it's literally just this district. Everyone is dressed so well. Like it's all outfits I would wear. So Jakob took us to this Mediterranean restaurant with this name. I'm not even gonna try to read it. They're literally playing super shy. This is the first time I heard K-pop during my travels, honestly. But I got myself a minute steak. I'm just a little bit hungry, not a heavy meal. I need a plate. What did you get? A cheeseburger. What is that? What am I supposed to do with that? That's a cheeseburger. Damn. Try it. Eat it. I want. You, I want to watch you eat it. Oh my god. Look at these fancy shoes. It's Puma X fancy. I might need it. I have no business buying new shoes right now. I tried them on, but they only had 25.5 centimeters. My size is 26. Thank God it didn't fit because I would have purchased those shoes in a snap of a finger. I don't even have a space in my luggage to put that. Literally every single day. I don't know how many cafes we go to. I think that's just the vibe here in London. You know, you just look for random cafes and then walk in and then get your little drink. This one's called Blank Street Cafe. And I think it's so cute. London vibes, vibes. <laughs> I'm back at the hotel, but that was my weekend in London. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love traveling with you guys so, so much. Let me know what your favorite place I've visited so far is. I'm gonna see you in my next video next week. I love you, Stan Shines. Bye.